Shalom, shalom. I'd like to first start off by giving all praises, glory, honor, and respect due unto Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. I'd like to give double honors to the elder apostles, the great millstone, the true leaders of the nation of Israel set up on the earth to teach today. A salutation to the Akim around the four corners of the globe, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. To you, brothers, I'd like to say shalom. I got a quick little lesson I want to go into. Um, I was just reading it, and it, it, it stuck out to me. This is um, St. John, the seventh chapter, starting at verse 6. It says, Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is all always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. And that's it, man. And, and, and they they hated him. They hated him. Because he was cutting them on their bullshit. He was, pull, he, was, he was calling them on their shit, man. He was calling them on their shit. And then not only that, he was a spiritual being. He, he, his level of thinking was way too high for them. And, you know, when people feel as if... When people get the assumption that you 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 smarter than them, and that you show your su, 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 not necessarily your su, superior, show yourself being superior to them, but you just use what you know, they take that as if you're trying to boast yourself up above them, and they feel offended. And that was the case with you. I was shy because he was a spiritual being, man. He he was always in spirit. Like I was just reading, um. I was reading the sixth chapter yesterday when it talked about you got to take the, got to eat his flesh and drink his blood, and I was thinking that I was thinking that from two way perspective, like man, on a carnal mode, man, that would have fucked a lot of people heads up. It really messed a lot of people heads up, man. Cause when I read it and I sat back and thought, like, well, yeah, that would have tossed some people up. And I was thinking, like, man, you you gotta really be in the spirit to understand what is going on, and and that's a blessing that we actually had that spirit on us, man. That that's a blessing, cause it say we should suffer the same persecution as you house shot did, man. That means we doing we doing the same things that that he, we we following that example, man. That's really why he came to be an example to the 144. And, and, and Lord willing, y'all watching me, I shot right this up, man. We we can be those men. But we 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 gotta we man you gotta deal accordingly, man. You gotta stay in the faith, man. Even though you know they gonna persecute you, you're gonna be hating for my his name's sake, man. It's something to, hey, it's the condition of the battle. Bear your cross, man. I got um I wanna get this quick precept. And then I'm gonna close it out. Uh, I forgot this ain't my other script, so I gotta find it. Come, there you go. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 10. They hated him. <clears throat> so like, they hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. So they hate the man that's out here telling the truth, man. That's calling people on their shit, preaching the gospel. Like, think about it like this. All we do is preach the word. We go out and teach the Bible. That's it. That is really it. Only time, only time we bold, we not being meek, humble, is, is, is when we teaching the scriptures, man. That's the only time we can have any boldness, man. Other than that, we, we meek, man. We don't bother nobody. But hey, it's a condition of the battle. That I like to give all praise, glory, honor, and respect to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the true leaders of the nation of Israel set up on the earth to teach today. Salutations to the Akim around the four corners of the globe, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and with charity. To you brothers, I'd like to say, Shalom.